Hello students, uh, today we are going to discuss in cost accounting we have one chapter called uh, finan uh, reconciliation statement. What is this reconciliation statement? It is nothing but cost and financial books reconciliation statement and why we need to prepare? What is the learning objective for us in this chapter is? See, we need to prepare a reconciliation statement of cost profit to financial profit. Why we need to reconcile? What is the meaning of reconciliation? Reconciliation is nothing but adjusting the profits, showing the profits as per cost accounting and as per financial accounting as same. What is this sir? Uh, both are the same branch of accounting. The branch of accounting, first branch of accounting is financial accounting and as per the financial accounting we prepare trading and profit and loss account and we ascertain the net profit and as per the cost accounting we prepare statement of cost and profit. Here also we try to find out the profit and whatever the profits showing in the financial accounting and the statement showing cost and profit as per the cost accounting profit should be the same <clears throat> right so the net profit as per financial and net profit as per cost should be same but there are some reasons there are certain circumstances certain situations where <clears throat> The net profit as per financial books and net profit as per cost books, the net profit as per FA and net profit as per CA cost accounting differs. <clears throat> Means you find some differences. Now we need to understand what are the reasons in difference of net profit as per CA, FA and CA. Now, when we start preparing, when we start reconciling, say as per net profit, uh, as per FA is showing 1.5 lakhs and net profit as per cost book is showing 1 lakh. Say the profit of FA and profit of CA is showing 50,000 rupees of difference. Now we need to fix, we need to fix these 50,000 rupees and we have to find out what are the reasons in difference in 50,000 rupees profit as per FA and as per CA. Now we have a format okay according to this format we have to prepare a reconciliation statement. Now we are taking a in preparing the, preparing the reconciliation statement, we take profit as per cost accounting or cost books. So the base for us is preparing reconciliation statement is profit as per cost books. And we need to add certain items and we need to deduct certain items. So we need to add certain items to this profit as per cost books and addition of these all items whatever the balance we get from that balance certain items has to be deducted from this balance so that we get profit as per financial books now we are fixing the difference between cost book and financial books the reasons all these are the reasons why we need to prepare reconciliation statement See, it is a, a compulsory question for become students and uh, many other courses also. Now, I will explain to you in a simple way. See, first we will understand what are the items which we need to add to the profits as per the cost accounting. The first point is over absorption of overheads in cost accounting. See, my dear students. In financial accounting, we call overex is nothing but what? Expenses. Overex is nothing but expenses. Say in financial accounting, we call it as an expenses. 
but the same expenses we termed it as a overheads in cost accounting so expenses and overheads are one and the same expenses and overheads are one and the same now what here the point given here is over absorption of overheads in cost accounting that means certain overheads means certain expenses in cost accounting is recorded over means more compared to financial accounting what are the such expenses which are recorded more over absorbed in cost accounting it may be any expenses for that matter say for example here if you read a uh, uh, depreciation say here i am taking an example as depreciation say and depreciation where do you get depreciation in cost books is we get depreciation both in factory overhead as well as administration overhead what is this sir yes in factory overhead you find plant machineries all these equipments and you provide depreciation you provide depreciation and you take it in the factory under the factory overhead you may be recorded in one method like you may be recorded in a straight line method of depreciation but the same depreciation on plant and machinery may be calculated in the financial accounting as per diminishing balance method or written down value method now you find the different methods were used in financial and cost books there may be difference in the value of a, or depreciation value so thereby the difference in the profits arises from fa to ca or ca to fa this is depreciation which we have calculated which were there in the factory so again if you take depreciation chargeable in administration overheads say for example depreciation on for office furniture depreciation on computers see these are all the depreciations which we charge in administration overhead but here same example we can give since uh, two different uh, okay methods were used one method is used in cost accounting and uh, other method is used in the financial accounting here may be straight line method here may be diminishing balance method see the reason why the value of or the expenses were over recorded over recorded this is the first item okay see any expenses if it is recorded more compared to financial accounting say for example depreciation in factory overhead is recorded 10000 rupees but the same amount of depreciation recorded in financial accounting as 8000 rupees now here you find 10000 is recorded 8000 is recorded here 2000 more depreciation charged in the cost accounting the 2000 rupees over absorption of depreciation should be added to the profit as per cost accounting understood guys see whichever the expenses are recorded more in cost accounting we should add okay and second item is financial incomes not recorded in cost accounting see the term incomes okay incomes where you find in trading and profit and loss account is in the credit side because debit side we find all the expenses credit side we find all the incomes if you look at the cost sheet nowhere you find incomes because cost sheet is nothing but expenses sheet you don't find even a single income in cost sheet but you find lot of incomes which you are credited to the profit and loss account means you, there is no income at all see if there is no income recorded in cost accounting definitely if less income less profits less income less profit because you are not recorded at all but here you are recorded more incomes your profit may be showing more your profit in cost accounting profit may be showing less so whatever the incomes which is which are recorded in the 
credit side of profit and loss account which are not at all taken in the cost books now what we do is all these incomes okay all these incomes we will going to add it here what are the such incomes is discount received commission received rent received interest received dividend received transfer fee received profit on sale of any assets or profit on revaluation difference in exchange see like this various types of incomes which are recorded only in financial accounting which are not recorded in cost accounting since your profit is showing less no income is recorded in cost accounting and your profit is showing less so thereby what we will do all such, such incomes will be added to your cost books hope you are understanding now let's go to the third point expenses charged only in cost accounting see guys there are certain expenses which charges charged means what expenses is charged means we have included so there are certain expenses which are included only in cost accounting and such expenses we don't take it in the profit and loss account so what are these such expenses which are charged only in cost accounting is say for example interest on capital say the proprietor introduced capital he charged interest on capital in the administration overhead but it is not paid to the proprietor he just charged only for the main sake but no such interest on capital will be would be recorded in the financial accounting if such expenses are recorded okay only in cost accounting see when you record more expenses your profit will be coming is showing less when you record here when you record see for example if uh, your profit is 1 lakh okay i assume that your profit here also it is 1 lakh here also it is showing 1 lakh but here i have charged 10000 rupees as what is that interest on capital here i am not showing any interest on capital now my profit becomes 90000 now there is a difference of 90000 and 1 lakh the difference is 10000 rupees profit is showing less that means when you show more prof more expenses more expenses leads to less profit more expenses leads to less profit and what we need to do is we need to add the difference of 10000 rupees to the reconciliation statement see one example is interest on capital the second one is notional rent what is this notional rent the proprietor may be using his building factory building of his own and he charged rent but he did not pay it. he did not pay it. this is also one example some assets which were completely depreciated in the business but still they were using in the factory say come an asset is completely depreciated as per the financial books the value of the asset is zero and no depreciation was charged but here you find still the all nil asset or zero asset depreciated asset is still showing in the financial i mean costing books again expenses is showing more you are recording depreciation on 100% depreciated asset again still more but in financial accounting you are not showing any more now you find such expenses okay interest on notional interest notional rent and completely depreciated asset still used in the business all of the examples for expenses charged only in cost accounting now let's go to the fourth point over valuation of opening stock in cost accounting see you find opening stock of raw material opening stock of work in progress opening stock of finished goods so we keep all these raw material work in progress finished goods all these things into one point okay all these are opening stock here okay 
in the financial accounting or his run opening stock. Together of raw material, work in progress, finished goods, we take it as an opening stock here. When you record it, your opening stock is recorded less compared to financial accounting. When you record your opening stock in cost accounting is under, means, oh sorry, overvaluated. Overvaluated means what? You are shown more in cost accounting compared to financial accounting. Say for example, all together opening stock in a cost accounting is showing 25,000 but your opening stock in a financial accounting may be showing uh, 15,000 Okay, now your cost accounting opening stock is showing 25,000 but your financial accounting opening stock is showing 15,000, 10,000 more is recorded, the difference of Opening stock which is overvalued should be added. Just like that, opposite to that, undervaluation of closing stock. See, undervaluation of closing stock means if you take closing stock of raw material, work in progress, and finished goods together, say in this case, cost accounting is showing 25,000, but financial accounting is showing 45,000. Now, there is an undervaluation of Closing stock in cost accounting of 20,000 rupees, such undervaluation of closing stock should be added. So, why the stock would be valued at uh, different rates, at a different values? It may be because of a uh, uh, valuation method or uh, the method of valuation of stock they have chosen. It may be uh, cost accounting may be using the method of valuing the stock may be under FIFO method or this may be following with the LIFO method or these people may be following with the FIFO method and these people may be following with the weighted average method. Like this, if you use stock valuations at a different methods, you will get difference in value of opening stock and the closing stock and this is also one reason why the profits as per financial and cost accounting differs. Okay. So we have finished with all the addition items. Now let us come to what are the items which we need to deduct it. We need to minus it. First one is under absorption of cost accounting uh, overx. Under absorption of overx in cost accounting. Under absorption means what? We have recorded certain overx expenses less in cost accounting. Say I told you again depreciation may be recorded at a different rate. Here depreciation may be recorded 10 and depreciation may be recorded here 12. 12,000 means 10,000 to 12,000. 2,000 rupees of depreciation recorded less in cost accounting. The value undervalued, under recorded value of expenses should be deducted here. And second point is expenses charged only in financial accounting. Guys, this is very important. See, second point in addition and second point in deduct deducting items or less items is very, very important for us. What are the expenses which are charged only in financial accounting? See, now I will explain to you. There are certain expenses. There are certain expenses which are recorded only in profit and loss account, that is in financial books but not in cost accounting. What are the such expenses is goodwill written off, preliminary expenses written off, discount on issue of shares and debentures, underwriting commission, loss on sale of asset, loss on revaluation, result for bad debts, provision for taxation. See, these are the items, these are the expenses which we don't right under any of the elements of the cost. See, we don't take it in prime cost, we don't take it in the factory cost, we don't take it even in the cost of goods sold or cost of production. Because here we take only those expenses which are charged for the production. When you are producing some goods, whatever the expenses you incur, only such expenses will be recorded here. But here we record all the expenses all the expenses 
which are paid or payable which are incurred in production or in other also non production also see these are the expenses which are charged okay the items which i have checked okay goodwill written off preliminary expenses written off discount on issue underwriting commission loss on sale of assets loss on revaluation of assets reserve for bad debts provision for taxation see these are the expenses which charges only in financial accounting sir what happens if it is recorded only in financial accounting which is not recorded say for example all these items put together it has come to 25k that is 25000 because of i have charged all these expenses my profit is showing 1 lakh but here my profit is as per the cost accounting it is showing 75000 what is that 75000 Sorry, one twenty-five, one twenty-five thousand, or one lakh twenty-five thousand. Now, if profit showing in financial accounting is one lakh, profit showing as per cost accounting is one lakh twenty-five thousand. There is a difference of twenty-five thousand. Here, profit is showing more. Here, profit is showing less. Why? What is the reason? Because you have charged so many expenses only in financial account. and these are the expenses which you have shown in financial accounting because of this expenses your profit is showing 1 lakh if you would have not shown definitely it would have been 1 lakh 25000 now here net profit is showing 1 lakh 25 no all these expenses are recorded so your profit will be showing 125 now what we will do we will deduct it so we will deduct the 25000 rupees from that 1 lakh 25 so that the profit as per financial accounting 1 lakh profit as per cost accounting 1 lakh it ties got it so we finished with the third point in the less item under valuation of opening stock in cost accounting see as i told you if it is over value if opening stock is over valued we add it here if it is under valued we deduct it here i told you the reason why the opening stock is overvalued and undervalued because of two different methods were chosen in valuing the opening stock and also closing stock if any overvaluation of closing stock in cost accounting happened that we will going to what deduct it here now we add all these items and we deduct all these items and we try to fix what is the profit as per financial books See guys, uh, these are the items which I have explained to you. Uh, this is a, a very basic. Okay, I think maximum points I have explained to you, and we can try to do some questions. Okay.